Hey folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business, and today we're going to continue our little series on departments in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Before we get into that, don't forget to jump over to Facebook and join our QuickBooks Point of Sale group, a community where you can ask questions or if you come up with problems, people such as myself and other Point of Sale users will respond to you. It's like free tech support. Don't forget to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel here to get all the new videos on QuickBooks Point of Sale, but let's jump into it now. We're going to talk about importing departments in QuickBooks Point of Sale. You may be scratching your head right now because when I go on the file menu to Utilities and Import, you will see that there is no option to import departments. I have some people ask me this a few times, how do I get my departments in there? I'm going to jump over to like, uh, maybe they have a list here like this of departments and they're all ready to go and they're all ready to get them in there with tax codes and whatnot. Unfortunately, Intuit and QuickBooks point of sale, uh, they're not allowing us to import departments and that can pose a problem. I'm going to tell you how the departments actually get in there during an import. Let me jump to this. I have created a quick and easy uh, inventory item import. Uh, this is a very simple import. You can obviously have way more columns than this. This just has the item name, cost, price, then the department and the department code. And you will see in a moment here, if I jump over to the department list, these are departments that are not yet in our point of sale. So we have the codes and the department, but they're not yet on our list. So I'm just gonna save that with our three little items with three different new departments on it. If I go to the utilities and import and I choose inventory items, then I'm gonna use a custom file. Some people use the default template, but I, I tend to see that you're going to run into more problems with the default template uh, that will sh give you a guideline and show you all the columns that you can use. But if you already have a file, then you're probably going to run with just the data you already have. Let me browse to this quickly, my simple item list. It's on sheet one in that Excel sheet there. I've already created a mapping that's kind of a subject for a different video. That's uh, mapping the columns to the fields in point of sale. I guess I'll jump in there quick and point out importantly that I have mapped the department name to my department column and the department code to the department code column on my sheet. Those are these two columns right here. That gives you a little idea of what mapping is. It's telling point of sale which columns go where. So I'm going to use that mapping and hit next. During import, normally I would either use a UPC or an ALU, which is kind of like a SKU number to make sure that I have unique items that I'm importing. Since I made that uh, list there so simple, I don't have any of those and I'm just going to go with item name. And if it finds duplicates, it's going to prompt me. And if there's no department, in the department column, it's just going to put it in the system department. System department can be used as kind of a catch-all bin where you can go back through and update the departments because there was no department. So that's kind of a to-do list type of department. And hit next. It's going to go through my Excel sheet and find four rows. Three of them are actually items. I'm not going to back up my company file. It might be good for you to do this. If your data is very important to you, I'm just using kind of a sandbox point of sale that I don't care about. So I'm going to say no and save us some time. So it's importing the three new items. Import is complete. I can hit close. You're going to see right away our three new departments pop right in there into our department list. That was these three right here automatically created from an inventory item import. <clears throat> not exactly a department import and unfortunately we do not get the margin tax code and markup so when that happens and you import the items and it automatically creates your departments 
you will want to go through and update the margin tax code and markup fields in each one of these departments and then moving forward when you're creating new items for these departments these fields will be utilized on creating new items that's it for importing departments from quickbooks point of sale once again my name is peter check out the links below in the description subscribe to our youtube channel and join our facebook group you have yourself a great day